All right, YouTube plant loving people. I thought I'd give you an update on the plants that I obtained in my last uh, plant haul. They all bounced back beautifully and I'm really thrilled even though it's just been a couple of weeks. But I'd start off here and show you that uh, a couple of them I have in my little greenhouse. Um, and I, to be honest, haven't repotted any of them. I've kept them in their nursery pots to let them acclimate a little bit to their new home. So without further ado, I will pull them out. Here's the first one. This is one of the freebies that they gave me. This is the purple shimitar. I believe it's in the trade scantia family and it's named, you can see, for these very vivid purple leaves. When I got this, it was very straggly, so I actually I cut it quite a bit for the two the three big straggly stems and left these two because I wasn't sure if it would actually grow back, but it did. You can see it's got three new shoots and I put the stems over here in my little propagation glass. It's full of other uh, trade scantia, mostly the uh, uh, baby bunny bellies, um, but I do have a wandering Jew here. They're rooting quite nicely. I need to detangle this. Um, I'm probably going to gift this to somebody. Uh, it's pretty, but I'm not in love with it, and I didn't order it. So I'm going to give it a little bit more time to see if it grows on me. But I think this might be going to a friend who is thus unnamed. Here is number two. This is the philodendron lichens. Um, this one has already put out one, two, three, four, five new leaves. And you can see that the growth spike is just super healthy. I'm really happy with how quickly this one is growing. This is the actually, now that I think about it, the only one that I did repot. I put it in one of the hanging baskets. I have it up here in my window. These are the other two freebies that were sent to me. The Axalis and the Tradescantia. This is the Axalis Honduras. It wasn't on my radar, um, but a free plant is a free plant. And I confess, I am so in love with this. I'm really surprised at how beautiful it is now that it's growing, but the variation of the green and the purple in its shamrocks is just absolutely stunning. Each one is different and has its own personality. And I'm just so thrilled with how absolutely gorgeous this is. Very, very happy. And I would actually buy this in a heartbeat and recommend it to anybody who's interested. The other, uh, this is the uh, the uh, Tradescantia albiflora albostriata. This too has just shown. Um, this when it came was really sad looking. Uh, it had these pretty leaves here and I'm gonna cut this back because all of the growth that it's putting out, look, one, two, three, four, five, five new shoots in addition to the ones that it came with and it's just beautiful. It's gonna fill in beautifully. I'm gonna cut this back and propagate this, but another winner. I realize looking through my uh, collection this morning, I have a number of trade scantia, and I'm thinking about doing a video exclusively on my varieties, but these new ones are gonna be repotted today, and they're stunning. All right, now for the final three. Uh, these two have just really thrived. Um, this is the, oh, I forgot, the uh, Pelargonium uh, crocodile. I don't know, I'll insert a picture uh, of the before. 
um, but this is growing fairly slowly. I actually do need to repot this because they sent it in just perlite so there's no soil there. Um, it was probably just a cutting, uh, but it's doing really well and these striations are beautiful. So, and what I didn't expect was there's quite a bit of pink in it. I expected it to look more like this leaf without the pink, but all of the newer leaves have just a beautiful pink in the veining, which I'm very happy with. Beautiful. And now here is my Oxalis reticulata. This too, if you can remember, it had one folded up shriveled leaf, leaf and uh, it was really sad. But Oxalis are, if they're a healthy bulb, they grow so quickly. Um, and this one's picking up that beautiful those beautiful markings, which is the reason that I ordered it. Um, when I had ordered these two, uh, in the samples that they had online, they had really similar markings, and I'm really happy with how individual they are. Um, I think that they just add a really nice uh, a component to my collection. And then this one is another Oxalis. This is the uh, Volcanola. You can see it has that pretty deep maroon color with the pink stems. It's a, a, a low, slow burn shiner and you, for some reason its leaves right now are folding down. I wonder if it's because I took it out of the humid little terrarium that I have. But this too is just doing really well. And to give you an idea regarding these two oxalis, they grow really quickly and they tend to be very robust plants. I'm going to show you over here. I've got two of my larger oxalis. The light is pretty poor, but this is the, uh, the green that I probably had for about two years now. And then I have the purple shamrock over here, which was a little bit younger. Um, these were slightly larger plants when I got them than these, um, but not by much. They were probably uh, maybe a three inch pot. And so I'm anticipating that these are gonna go, or at least this one, which is the same uh, subspecies, uh, same uh, family as the other, are gonna uh, be quite robust in their growing. And for the final plant, here is my uh, little Coecia. Uh, this was the one that they sent me that I had ordered, uh, but that isn't in propagation in the winter. Um, the reason that they sent me a bunch of freebies. I will insert a uh, photo of what it looked like before. And you can see that despite my fears, I do have a couple of new branches forming. It's starting to split off. Uh, it's still quite tiny, um, but it is very pretty. And in addition to the flower that it came with, I've got a couple of new buds coming as well. So this one, I'm anticipating being a slow grower but it's beautiful. And I thought before I'd end this video that I would do a quick update on a couple of orchids that I have. These are the only two orchids that I keep indoors. Um, the rest I keep outside of my patio. Um, and as you can see, even though I've had these for months and months, I still have them in their nursery pots. And this jewel orchid came with an oxalis uh, hitchhiker that because I like the, the look of it in, in with a pot, I've uh, kept it there. Um, but I wanted to update you, or new date, date you on these, uh, just because the, the blossom, the flower is here. Let's see if I can focus that. 
and just look really pretty. Understated. Um, this is a very robust grower. Um, it's hard to tell buried here in the oxalis, but there's a number of new shoots growing. So even though it's one plant, there's quite a few offshoots and I'll be able to propagate that soon. And then this one, in all honesty, this this is a, uh, um, I, I'm to be not sure what this is. I have no idea what the blossoms look like on this orchid. I bought it because it's got the most beautiful leaves of any orchid that I've ever seen. You can see the top of the leaf is green on maroon, and the bottom of the leaf is maroon on green. And it's got these bulbs. Super pretty. Um, this entire leaf and offshoot, and then another one coming is new since I've gotten it. So I am very happy with that. These are my uh, two of my pride and joy of my orchid collection. Thank you for watching. Oh, and before I forget, I thought I'd show you my uh, plant haul from Florida Hill Nursery. It is right there on this shelf right here. Yep. It's not the Emperor's New Plant. It's an empty shelf because they never sent me my order. It's been since Christmas Day, so is that 40 days? They responded once uh, about three weeks ago that the shipment was going out, uh, but since have not uh, responded to any of my emails. So I'm in the process of uh, uh, obtaining a refund uh, through my credit card company. Uh, I'll let you know how that goes. Long story short, I will not recommend Florida Hill Nursery to anybody unless they're willing to donate their money without any guarantee of getting uh, the items that they ordered or even the items that they didn't order. They just said sent nothing. Um, this is bizarre. And from what I understand looking through all of the reviews online, it's not a one-time incident. So avoid Florida Hill Nursery at all costs because they are a complete scam. Thanks for watching. Bye.